I know what you're thinking, alright? But trust me, just hear me out on this, okay? Hear me out. Hello guys, Override Gaming here and welcome back to another brand new video. If you like this, leave a like, comment and subscribe. Welcome back to Hear Me Out. This is the show where I come up with wrestling ideas or future wrestling ideas because I want, I, uh, <laughs> because I'm a very creative person. Uh, Josh for creative, hashtag 2020. Uh, but anyways, today uh, I'm going to tackle something which a lot of people don't, mm, how do I put it, they touch upon, but I can see, mm, okay, let me explain, okay, hear me out. So for those of you who don't really watch WWE or know of WWE, basically, there's a wrestler uh, on the roster at the moment who goes by the name of Cesaro. Uh, very talented wrestler, big, strong, fast can do aerial stuff um, when we say like complete packages like this guy has got it this guy has got it honestly um, quite good on the mic as well very good on the mic um, and a lot of people including myself feel like he should deserve a world championship run which unfortunately he hasn't been given um, most you get is you know tag team titles which he did great with Sheamus uh, and Tyson Kidd back then as well uh, United States Championship. Did he win the Intercontinental Championship? I'm not too sure. I don't think he has yet, but that would be a great title for him. That would be an absolutely brilliant title for him to have. My glasses are somehow dying. But um, yeah, so Cesaro is a great wrestler. Uh, and a lot of people say, you know, he deserves a world title one, which I think is very correct. I think he does deserve it. However, the problem what you got is one. With all the guys, so say like you know you got Raw and SmackDown and uh, NXT, he do well in NXT. He do well in NXT as he is now, or NXT UK. That, oh, he'd be a he'd be a god over there. Um, but I could see like for instance, I could see him joining Imperium over there. That would be brilliant. But the problem you got is right now if they if they was to push him as he is now, the the title reign wouldn't it would fall quite flat um, so this is where the hear me out comes in I today I'm going to try and book a scenario where Cesaro becomes world champion and it's not stupid let's put it that way <laughs> so for this I'm going to do one of two things number one no I'm not going to book him as a heel European um, or it put him in a European faction um, you know who hates Americans and he becomes world champion that way uh, simply because it's been done many times before you know two um, WWE games did the United Kingdom uh, the League of Nations the Un-Americans uh, what else there's, there's plenty of, there's plenty of factions we've got that um, it's overdone and it's very stereotypical and quite stupid because we don't really hate America you know what I mean? Sorry, it's true, we don't. Um, but the other thing is, I'm not going to do a, a standard um, baby face kind of thing because, well, again, it's been done before and the thing, if it was to happen and it's kind of like, you know, the fans want to see me win, then it would get stale after a few months. I mean, look what happened with Kobe Kingston. The guy was on top of the world and three months into his child away and everyone just tore him down. Um, so, we're not doing that either. What we're going to do instead... Oh, move this way. <laughs> uh, what we're going to do instead is... I, the way I'd challenge this is... I would repackage this. And I know some of you guys straight off the bat are going to be like... Wait, what are you doing? What do you mean repackage Cesaro? The guy's... The guy's nuts. Right? Which is very true. However, keep his entrance tune. Keep his entrance. Right? Yeah, I think it's perfect for what I'm about to explain. Uh, we're just going to change his game of cup slightly. So, I would call him... I would go and call him Lord, Lord Cesaro. Right? So, a, a little bit like the Bianca Belair thing as in, you know, he's fast, he's strong. Um, he's, you know, he's acrobatic. 
the guy who can do submissions and we build him and like the commentators build him as the most complete superstar the you know the you know the complete you know the complete package almost you know you can call him the complete package lord cesaro that has the most wins of it um also i would change his finisher the neutralizer because no that's that's not the best finisher for him uh i keep the sharpshooter and i probably keep the european uppercut thing he does the one where he lifts them up in the end just bang because i think that'll be that'll be just oh nice you could call that finisher you could call that finisher judgment day you know, I know and the reason why I'm going off with this is because, you know, yeah, he's been called Swiss Superman, the Swiss Cyborg, you know. And when you think of Superman, the guy is all round. You can't touch him in any area. Same with the Cyborg. You can't touch them in any area unless you dash more on them. I don't know. Well, I should know because I, 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 I'm into these things. But how do you, how do you kill Cyborg? You just dash more. Anyway, I'm going off topic. So imagine, yeah, this guy has his thing, right? He's called Lord Cesaro, the complete package. Right, this guy debuts on Raw, right? You can do this as face or heel. Um, so basically we have this kind of almost cocky persona, um, but not on the lines of Seth Rollins and his Monday Night Messiah. Um, this guy who basically he believes he's so good that he's godly in the ring. That's his gimmick. He, you know, he built up such, you know, let's say he's fought, you know, Alistair Black and uh, Nakamura and all these other guys and he's beaten every single one of them. And he's like, you know what? I'm so good in the ring. I guess you can call me God. You know what? Even better. Call me Lord Cesaro from now on. Bang! Slap that on. Right? So then he goes through everybody, right? You know, dusted himself off after every match. Finishing everybody with that European uppercut. I keep doing that, but that's gonna that's gonna be like a swearing there, just um, <laughs> but what well, basically he does all that right and then we get through say he wins uh, I'm trying to think let's see what it's Let's have him against Port Lesnar. Because then it's the complete package versus the beast incarnate and that is for the WWE Championship. I'm just explaining this very quickly because I'm trying to keep time and so you don't get bored of me just talking. Um, but basically, say he runs three people and then it comes to Brock Lesnar or someone big like Samoa Joe or Kevin Owens, somebody like that. And you could do this face or heel again, it doesn't matter because the gimmick kind of works both ways. You have Cesaro being like, you have, sorry, you have like Paul Heyman being like, no, it's a prediction, it's a spoiler. Lesnar is clearly going to be the guy on top. And you can just have Cesaro literally just looking at him and then just smiling, smiling. And then he walks out because he knows, right, he knows that he's going to beat Brock. In fact, he doesn't even have to talk much. He could be a gimmick that doesn't talk much, but again, when he shows up, everyone's like, oh, it's Lord Cesaro, we're in his presence, guys, and the commentators can make stuff out of that, and imagine if he does beat, but when he, sorry, when he does beat Brock Lesnar, and becomes WWE Championship, sorry, becomes WWE Champion after, the next night on Raw, imagine, the whole crowd, whether they wanted him to see, him, whether they wanted to see him win or not, the whole crowd is just there, right? And then you could have, right, him just standing in the middle of the ring, ring in the room, in the wrong, <laughs> standing in the middle of the ring, right, with his championship, all suited and booted, sunglasses to boot. He just smiles at the audience, right? Takes a nice little smile, looks, and goes, "I told you." Puts down the mic, walks off. Promo of the year. Simple as. Right, but I think for for somebody like Cesaro, like trying to be, he he needs a gimmick based on his ability. I think, and because he's so good in the ring, I think that would be kind of a suitable gimmick. And I'll be down for that because then imagine the stuff that come up. It would be, be literally like, yo, Lord Cesaro has spoken. Like you, you could make so much out of that personally. I think that would be awesome. Um, but yeah, hashtag Lord Cesaro 2020. Alright, let's get that trending, yeah? 
let's 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 do this. I th I think that would be absolutely awesome. Um, but anyway, it's not probably been my best explanation. But let me know what you guys think in the comments, and maybe some possible storylines for that sort of character. Let me know in the comments below. Let me know on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. You guys know what to do. But anyways, I've been over on gaming. Hat looks weird, but <laughs> um, yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye now.